Early detection is key for any cancer, but today we're looking at breast cancer. The CDC reports that breast cancer is the second most common one among American women. This Wellness Wednesday, our Jasmine Bird tells us some best practices. Most breast cancers are found one of two ways. Either a palpable lump or lump that you can feel or on a mammogram. And one of the factors that could cause some women to be more susceptible. We know that women in high stress situations, whether it be high stress jobs or family situations, we see a higher incidence of disease, including cancer in those women. So knowing and being aware of your emotional health is very important too. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women overall and in the U.S. The second leading cause of cancer death in women. Um, there will be in 2023 that the projection is that 4,500 Alabama women will be diagnosed and 720 will die of breast cancer. So um, this is a this is a serious problem. And um, and again, screening can be helpful in um, in you know getting to early treatment and possibly to cures. An early detection is key. Now we're finding breast cancer stage one, stage zero. So we have the ability to find breast cancer early, but it is all about getting those screenings done. Again, those breast exams, being able to find those lumps and identifying patients that have a lump and then getting in, getting them the appropriate care. And another thing to note is that black women have higher mortality rates for breast cancer. White women have slightly lower risk than the rest of the U.S. and black women are about the same. Also, when discussing the right age for screening, that usually falls under the category of general population. So in other words, that's every woman in the United States that we're focused on getting that first mammogram, what we call the baseline, meaning a woman coming in with no problems, no symptoms of breast cancer between age 35 and 40, and then annually every year beginning at age 40 for all women. In Huntsville, Jasmine Bird, Fox 54 News.